I know y'all probably like, why I got shades on? Cause I'm a shady nigga. <laughs> nah, let me stop. Day, day in the life. Let's see if you really trap. Here's the OZ boy BJ from Brother here. This is, I'm a, I think I'm like a hood nigga healer. You know, that's, that's what I'm gonna call myself. You know, I'm a hood, I'm a hood healer. You know, I'm, I'm from, you know, I'm from the, I will say I'm from the hood, you whatever. I'm not glorifying the hood, but that's where I'm from, you feel what I'm trying to say? And I feel like just being from where I'm from, like, it's not a lot of men that have the similar a similar mindset as me, or think the way I think, or just or just focused on, or just as as self conscious as I am. You feel me? So I'm gonna call this hood nigga hills or oh, hood hills, whatever. I don't know what I'm gonna call this here, but I wanna do a series where I just be talking about my experiences and how I overcame certain things in my life as a young melanated man from where I'm from and then just growing I'm a dad and shit you know you feel me it's cool as hell I gotta I'm, I see my son what's today yeah I see my son tomorrow matter of fact you know what I'm trying to say so I'm like I'm already excited anyways today we're gonna talk about how to overcome anxiety over like how I overcame anxiety over things because like when I was first having my kid bro like I think for a year straight I, my every day I woke up heart heavy Super anxious, super scared, didn't know what to do. I wasn't making a lot of money at this time when I was first having my kid. Like I was just, cause like I was so scared and nervous and anxious for a year straight, bro. That shit was bad, bro. I think it was at least like, from, like once I found out I was being a dad, like after that time time frame is when like my anxiety was really bad. Like ever, bro. I mean, wake up every day. Like imagine your heart feeling like there's something on it every day for like months on end non-stop like there's times where it's like yo bro like is this how is this like it's like this is this something has killed yourself like bro I, like that's like I, it's like i understood how bad you can feel to want to because like bro like if, if you're feeling something every single day i could understand how a person would want to like off themselves because bro that shit is bad bro like imagine waking up every day and your heart feel like you like you got a 10 pound weight just tugging your shit down every day like all through the day. The only time I wouldn't feel is if I'm like playing basketball or if I'm playing the game. So when I was first going through my anxiety, I used to play the game a lot. I used to wake up and I used to wake up at 8, 9 a.m. and play the game all day. Play the game, post YouTube videos, probably like I was making like eight hundred dollars a month. My my more my, my bills was like three like five hundred, six hundred, so I only got like two hundred dollars left. My grandma will give me money here and there, so I wasn't really making no money, bro. And I'm about to be a dad, so I'm just broke. But as like, I'm just so anxious. It's just like, it's crazy. You feel me? So like, how I overcame it is like, I think it's more. I overcame like it's more of like, cause I feel like I was in the, I was in like denial of my situation. I was in denial of the type of man I was. I was I was in denial of a lot of things. You know, like I feel like there's a lot of things I had to accept, and 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 I had a lot of negative self talk. I think negative self-talk and in denial was was the two things that was I would say fear, in denial, and negative self-talk. I feel like those three things are is what like hindered me, hindered my growth for so long when I was becoming a dad. Because like I feel like I was just, I was in denial. Like I, I I picture myself being a dad in a different way. Um, I wish things had went differently. It was like all those emotions and thoughts was in my head, and I always attached negative things to them. So say if I had a thought. I will attach negative emotions to that negative thought and I, it'll be going through my mind all day to negative, 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 negative. So those those was like my struggle was like this always happened. Like bro, I used to, bro, oh my god, my negative self there was one time I was going through something with my son, right? And like I had a thought, bro, I had a thought and I literally was yelling at myself in my car. Like I was literally arguing with myself in my car about my negative self-talk but like it was like i was negatively talking to myself because of a thought i had and i was i was like yelling at my at my brain like i was yelling at my thoughts it's like yo bro it's like, it's like i was yelling it's like i was i was arguing with my thoughts bro that's like that's how like that's how bad it was like i would literally have arguments with my thoughts be present think of now not later now only matters basically it's like don't think and i, I used to think about the future a lot so it's like, don't think about the, don't think about the outcome of search. It's like, of course you should have a positive, like, outlook, but just know like you don't really control a lot of things, bro. So it's like, just do what you gotta do. 
like, bro, do what you gotta do, bro. If you if you got a kid or if you're you going to school or whatever, like, just do what you gotta do, bro. As in, like, be a good dad, be a good student, like, just do what you have to do. You can't really control how other people react to you or how situations react to you. It's like, you just gotta be intentional, pop, be have great intentions and have positive thoughts to what you're doing. So it's like, bro, just 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 be in a moment more. Like, don't think too much. Just do what you gotta do in the moment. Like, if you know in the moment you gotta read read the book, just read the book and don't think about the outcome of reading the book. Don't think about why you should, what else you should be doing. It's like just read the book. Cause like you know, if you, if, if, cause like if, if you read the book now, that, which is a good thing, you know that it's gonna have a positive outcome. But I'm trying to say, so it's like just read the book, bro. It's like don't think too much about what you're doing, especially if it's positive. So that's what I would say. I would say just like. Be present, like just think, like just think, like literally, what you're doing right now. Just do what you're doing. Do what you have to do right now. So if you're in, like in this current moment, you're watching this video. If you gotta take notes right now, take notes. If you gotta, if you gotta like screen record a certain parts, screen record a certain parts. Like just do what you gotta do right now. I'm not saying just don't think about. It's easier said than done. But you know, it's, it's a practice, bro. Like it's, it's, these, these are practices. You know, it's like the best practices to slow down anxiety. You know what I mean? And it's like. And it's like, accept it. Like, if if you feel your anxiety coming up, accept that. It, like, bro. Like, I already learned. Like, you have to accept your emo like you have to accept emotions, bro. Like, say now, say 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 you say you, say you, you, you going through something with your family, right? Or your your girlfriend or something. And we, you know, we always say, oh, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. The ego always tells you you don't care, bro. You do care, and it's okay to care about things and situations. It's okay to feel pain. It's okay to for that. It's okay for that to bother you. It's okay for things to bother you. Not acting, but if 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 your mom calls you ugly, or your or your best friend calls you ugly, or you you and your bro boyfriend break up, or you and your friends stop being your friends, it's okay for that to bother you. But that was you had you can't you love that person, you care for that thing. So if if you care for something and it messes up, it's okay to care and say I care. And accept that feeling of you caring. Don't say I don't care. But you say I don't care, it's gonna always come back and it's gonna show you how much you care every single time. So bro, if you care, nigga say you care. If you and your girl break up, if you and your girl argue, there's something happening in your life that you care about and it bothers you, allow it to bother you. Like I'll feel that feel it. Feel like like feel those emotions. Let them come to you. Like let allow them to be felt and then allow them to be let go. Cause if you if you never allow yourself to feel them, they will never be surrendered. So if you're just gonna put, if you're gonna suppress and repress the emotions, bro, they're gonna always re resurface. But if you allow yourself to accept it, acknowledge it, and surrender, it's like. So when I say surrender, I mean like, okay, I'm sad, I feel sad, but it's gonna be okay. It's just this is how life is. So you're you're accepting that emotion and you're surrendering it. Literally, it's that easy. I'm sad right now. Damn, my my, I feel that test, man. I wish I should have passed that shit, man. It's not, it's, it's okay. I I I'll study next time. I'm a little upset right now, but it's alright. I'll figure it out next time. You are like just that little thing is big, bro. Just you, it's you allowing yourself. That's you seeing something is bothering you, accepting that something is bothering you, and then adding a an, a positive affirmation to what you're going through is how to handle it, bro. Ah, uh, my boyfriend broke up, broke up with me today. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset about that, man. You know, but it's life, though, bro. We had our good times, our bad times. Maybe I can use this as a, as a time to heal myself, and he can get a little use this as a time to heal himself. Maybe this is maybe this is a, a a chance for me to focus on myself and become better for for myself and for the next person. Like, not everything is bad, bro. Like, bro, nothing in your, nothing in your life is bad unless you make it bad, bro. Like, nothing in your life is bad unless you make it bad. So say you get in a car accident, bro. Car accidents are bad. But you can choose in your brain if that's bad to you, bro. You can be like, I got a car accident, but shit, at least I ain't die. Like, like that ass, bro. So it's like, I'm gonna ask it, but I ain't die. So it's like you already like have the mindset like this could have been better, and I'm and I'm grateful that I'm here. Like, like stuff like that are like great ways to deal with like overthinking and negative self-talk and anxiety and, and this is like just not allowing yourself to have negative self-talk at all like you just 
I, cause bro, there's times where I have where, where I'm thinking and I'm, I think something negative, but you have to notice when the negative self talk is coming. So say you have a negative thought, right? Don't attach another negative thought or negative emotions to that thought. Or if you have a negative emotion, don't attack, don't attach negative thoughts to that negative emotion, because then you're just you just you're adding on to the fire, bro. You're just throwing mad wood into the fire, you're spraying the little the little gasoline shit. You know the shit you have in the on your grill. You spraying that shit on the fire, bro. You have a negative thought. Don't attach a negative emotion, because you can't fight negativity with negativity, bro. You have to fight it. So I say you have a negative thought. Ah oh, man. I'm so tight that I have this shit. This shit crazy, but I hate this stuff. You be like, nah, bro, it's alright. Like, for me, that's how shit goes. For me, that's life, bro. You gonna figure it out. So your negative thought, you already combated your negative thought, which is normal. Normal negative thoughts are normal. Negative and po are normal. So accept it for what it is, but just don't allow it to consume you, bro. Facts. Stop, stop thinking, like, bro. Stop thinking, like, bro. If you're thinking about something negative, bro, just say, I don't think about this no more. So if you're overthinking about something, just stop thinking about it. Like, bro, it's a practice. It's gonna take time. But if you're thinking about something negative, literally say to yourself, I do not want to think about this anymore. This does not serve me any purpose of overthinking about the situation. I won't think about something else and you literally will think about something else. Like I said, Say you say you say you overthinking about a certain situation. I, I still struggle with this today, and I and I'm practicing it for a minute. Not struggle with it. I'm I'm better, but I still do it to this day. Where it's like something happens in your life or whatever, and you're overthinking about it, about different scenarios, different situations, different whatever. All this type of overthinking stuff that you do normally for no reason. Like yo, bro, stop. Just like bro, stop. Like that's not that's not that's not true. Like it's like you're literally. When you think too much, it's like you're literally allowing yourself to lie to yourself about different things that really might not happen. Like, like that really might not happen. Like those thoughts you're having really are have a low chance of happening. So if you have set, if you have five different scenarios for or five different outcomes of a situation, bro, one out of five might happen. So you have five outcomes of one scenario when one out of five could happen. So you're already overthinking about mass scenarios. That's not that's not, that's not even possible happening because if only one's possible. What I say? Care about to die. Don't personalize things either. Cause I feel like overthinking can lead into taking things personal. So it's like don't personalize things that people do to you or people say to you because a lot of time people say things because they're not feeling good, they're not happy with what's going on in their life. You know, so it's like if her says something to you, that don't mean that doesn't define who you are. So if, if somebody say, yo, you ugly. Oh, you dirty, or you this, or you that. That don't like that don't necessarily mean that you're that because they said that to you. You know what I'm trying to say? That's one opinion. Like, don't personalize that opinion because that person could really feel like they're ugly inside, or they're sad inside, or they're broke inside, or whatever. However, that person feels could be they, they just they just what's the word again? I guess mirroring or putting they're putting how they feel onto you. So they can really feel ugly, and they call you ugly because they feel ugly. That don't mean you gotta take what they saying personal. You know, like don't be sensitive, basically. Like, don't take everything personal. Not everything is to to be personalized. Feel me? I feel like overthinking could turn into over personalizing things. You feel what I'm trying to say? Anxiety. Don't think too much. You know, let let things come to you. Like, let emotions come to you, and let let them let them come and surrender them. Um, don't overanalyze situations that can lead to anxiousness overanalyzing situations like thinking too much about a situation overanalyzing it that can make you anxious you know what I'm trying to say it's like don't overanalyze don't take things personal don't worry about things that doesn't matter don't worry about things you can't control it's like and read book like read books that can help you like power of subconscious mind find um, letting go pathway to surrender like Books about let books about your emotions. Books about understanding emotions. Like read a books that can help you understand who you are. Like and then so you can so now when you read these books that tell you about emotions, you can understand like oh this is why this this is why that and you put certain things together. You know what I'm trying to say? So boom now say like me for instance. I what one I had a I had a I had a real difficult time accepting people for who they are. 
Like if someone eats a certain way, I was I had a hard time accepting that. For some reason, I don't know why. But it's like once I realized that that was the reason why a lot of my things messed up because I wanted the perfect girl. I wanted a girl to do to be just like me. When I realized that I didn't really want that, I do I don't I don't want a girl that 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 looks just like me or acts just like me. I want a girl that's different from me, so I can learn from her. If 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 someone acts just like me, how can I learn from them if we're the same person? So you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like I had to accept the fact, like I said, accepting things, like accepting your emotions, accepting how you feel. I had to accept the fact that maybe I really didn't want the the super vegan girl that had the gym body and had locks like me and talked like me and knew what I know and all that type of. I didn't really want that. I had to accept that though. You know what I'm saying? I had to accept the fact that that's not what I wanted. I had to be real with myself. You feel what I'm trying to say? So that's a part of like overcoming things is like being real with yourself and accept things for what it is. So I feel like you will have less anxiety or less nervousness. Because anxious nerves is kind of the same thing. And they're normally emotional. Even if you even if you are anxious, even if you are nervous, bro, accept them for what it is and figure out what's causing it. Figure out what causes the anxiety and the nervousness and overthinking. You have to figure out the root of the problem. Basically. Figure out the root, accept it for what it is, or fix it. Do what you have to have to do to make it better. And move on, bro. Accept and surrender, bro. The best way to deal with things is to accept and surrender. Accept and surrender. So... Those are the practices I did to slow down my anxiety, overthinking, you know, and uh, and it has become it has become a lot easier to deal with overthinking and my anxiety. Let me not let me not attach these things to myself because it's it's just emotions and that 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 doesn't mean that's who I am. So yeah, it's like these these are feelings, bro. What's okay, like these are just feelings. They're not you, basically. What I'm saying like they're just feelings. They're gonna come. That's what I'm saying. Like overthinking, like they're normal. It's okay to overthink sometimes. It's okay to overanalyze. It's not like it's not like an issue. It's just like making it negative. Like it's like don't do it into negativity. It's okay to have like to have different things about things. But like don't do it where it where it like turn into a negative thing. Like it's okay to think about something twice, three times to make it make sense. If you had that's how you think. But it's not good to keep continue thinking about it and then attaching negative things to your already overthinking mind. And that's where I, well, that's what makes it worse and terrible. But it's basically, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, bro, you're, you're, you might overthink. You're gonna overthink. You're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna be anxious, you're gonna be nervous. Accept them, figure out what's causing it, and surrender it. Those are my tips. Accept, let go, and surrender. Well, this is another episode of Neighborhood Healing. Hope you enjoyed the video. The Brovskis out the spot ski. Holla at me. This is Neighborhood of Healing. <laughs> Goose.